I'm Christine White in the Beads Incorporated studio, and today we are talking about stretchy bracelets, making bracelets on elastic. This is a great technique because stretchy bracelets are easy to make, they're easy to take on and off, and when you make a stretchy bracelet, it fits a variety of sizes, and it's also really nice to make a stacking effect. So what you need for this technique is one of these um, gray bracelet design boards is really helpful for laying out your design. We need some um, stretch string, like the stretch magic is really helpful. Um, uh, glue, like super new glue or GS hypo cement. Some sharp scissors and, or um, some wire cutters would be useful too. And then beads of your choice. So let's get started. So we're gonna start by laying out our design and figuring out how long our bracelet's gonna need to be. Um, your average bracelet for an adult is gonna be about seven to eight inches long, and that's gonna vary a little bit depending on the size of your beads. Chunkier beads are gonna fit a little bit tighter around your wrist. Smaller beads are gonna fit a little bit looser. So keep that in mind, and you can always play with that length a little bit when you get to the end. This kind of beadboard is helpful because it helps us figure out that length, keeping in mind that we don't need a clasp. Um, we lay out that perfect circle using the bracelet design board, and once we have our design, we can go ahead and cut a piece of our stretch elastic, um, usually cut about a foot, so that gives us a few inches to work with on either side when we go to um, tie off the ends, we want a few inches to work with. And then I like to put a piece of scotch tape on the end of our string so that we don't have to worry about the beads coming off the other side as we string. Now I'm going to just work with one end at a time and pick up our beads and start stringing and go from one end all the way around to your other and stop when you get there. Once we have all of our beads strung, we're going to measure them one more time just to make sure that we have the desired length that we want and we're right at seven inches. I'm going to be making a pair of stacking bracelets and wanted to make sure that they're going to both be the same exact length. And so I can go ahead and pull the scotch tape off the opposite end, and I'm going to start by tying a single knot. You can pull it really tight, go ahead and feel that tension in the elastic, and then tie a second knot. If you're using a real thin uh, cord, you always want to use the thickest cord that you can depending on the hole size in your beads. If you're using a thinner cord, you may even tie a third knot. In my case, I'm going to stop with that second knot. And then use uh, your super new glue or your uh, GS hypo cement and apply a tiny dab of the super new glue on the end of our knot. And then if we can, we're going to pull that knot so it gets lodged inside the hole next to it. We're going to allow that to dry. Just takes a few seconds in most cases. And then we're going to snip off our extra string. So in the meantime, I'm going to do that same thing with my other bracelet. Tie our first knot and then our second knot. Pull it nice and tight. Add our tiny dab of glue. Maybe another one. And then just pull that knot so that it's lodged inside the hole next to it. Snip off our extra. And then we have our stacking bracelets. And there we go. There's so many fun variations that you can create with your beads at home using um, stretch cord and creating a stack of your own. Um, hopefully that answers any questions you have about stringing bracelets on uh, stretch magic and stretch cord. Thank you so much for joining me today in the Beads Incorporated studio. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Let me know your feedback in the comments section and be sure to check us out next time.